Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we're making this fun, artfully sent card and envelope. Um, I saw this design on Pinterest. I thought it was so cute, and I thought it'd be really fun on the Ho 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 card. Here are cuts from the Close to My Heart Artfully Sent Cricut cartridge. And then for the part that's the beard, I used Cricut Craft Room Basics, and it's just that shape that's shown there. But that's on a lot of other cartridges, too. Okay, let's get started. Now, we're going to be making this Ho 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 card. I cut this on the Cricut Explorer, and when I cut it on the Cricut Explorer, I had to size it at eight and a half. And that will give me, when I fold it, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. If you are using the regular expression or the E2, you would size it according to the book, which is four and a quarter. Okay, so just wanted to get that cleared up. I'm gonna go ahead and score this. And I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter. I think this is such a fun card. It's so easy too. Love it when they're easy. Okay, so I've got that. And now I'm going to just need to make the front. So what I have done is I've cut out a variety of pieces. And this actually, this is going to be the beard. And it is basically, I took this free shape from Cricut Craft Room Basics. Or you could use any kind of shape like this. They're on a million cartridges, shapes like this. And I cut it in half. And it's just going to go at the top. And I am going to use the Divine Squirrels Cuddlebug folder to give it some little swirly bits too. So let me lay that in there. That's just for a little more fun. And I am using a white glitter paper. So FYI. Now I've got my cuddle bug and I always start with the bottom, which is the A, which is the big one, a B, my folder with the paper, and then another B. Okay, that's the sandwich as we call it. So I'm just gonna roll this through. And out comes my beard. And now it's not only glittery. I'm not sure you can see. I'm worried there's too much light. Sometimes there's not enough light. There's too much light. Not enough. Too dark. No, that's too dark. Too bright. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Here is, now you can see a little bit the swirls. And it's also glittery. Okay. All right, I love the cuddle bug. It dresses up anything in like three seconds, which is so great. All right, it's the easiest card ever, right? All right, so what we're gonna do is take some Scotch ATG and put this faux beard on here along the front. Try to make it equidistant as best as possible. Let's see. pretty close. Okay, we're gonna go with that. And then I have the belt, and this is just an inch by five and a half. Just a piece of black, no big deal. And I wanna leave enough room so that, oops, am I awful? Oh! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> okay, no swearing, I'm not supposed to swear in the program. <sighs> okay, I'll just groan a lot. You know, I really just must mess up constantly, but when I'm doing it not in front of the camera, I don't get so upset. <laughs> I don't know. And then I have got, I cut out in gold um, glitter paper. I cut out a buckle, basically a little rectangle, and then I cut a square within a square. So no big deal, you can do that on your Cricut, you can do that by hand with the trimmer. You know, it's very easy to do. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna use my Bonding Memories glue pen to stick this down. I'm kinda of gonna make it centered as best I can. And that size, by the way, this, um, Buckle outside is one and a half by one and a half, and the inside square is one by one, if that helps you. And then I'm just gonna put this little cross piece in here, which I think is like, let me see, quarter inch? It's like a quarter inch by an inch. 
It's just going to go across like this. Now, I did not think this whole idea with the beard and stuff. I saw that on Pinterest. I don't know whose it was. I'm sure you guys have probably seen a similar thing out there. But look how cute this is in so fast. So I really like the so fast part. <laughs> Always a fan of so fast. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I've got some white cardstock and I'm just going to cut it for inside. And it feels so thick. This is some super thick cardstock. And I will do four by five and a quarter. And we'll see how we look th like that with that ho-ho-ho because we might want it the whole way. Let's see how that ends up looking when we shut the card. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, I love it when that happens. It doesn't always happen, so I'm always so grateful. <laughs> All right, okay, now. Okie dokie. Alrighty. So there's our card. How fast was that, you guys? <laughs> that, that right there is a card you can make many of. Okay, all right, now, I found a cool stamp set I love to use. It's called Perfect Fit Holidays, and it actually coordinates with what does it coordinate with, you guys? I think it <laughs> It's just these circles, so really you could use it with any of the Close My Heart cartridges or any cartridge with a circle, but I think it's supposed to match art philosophy. In any case, we're going to use this. Take a look here. Happy Holidays. I'm just going to stamp that on the inside. I've already used this stamp before, so I'm not going to be conditioning it, but I am going to throw it down like I just did. I need to get my little mat here. And then I gotta get some red to use. Or what do you guys think about green or black? Black sounds a little dreary. Black sounds a little bit dreary. Is that seriously sticking off the edge? Oh, shut the front door, really? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Technical difficulties again. Oh, don't let me be cutting the card. Please, God, I did. Shoot. Okay. All right, that can be photographed away. Yay! <laughs> oh, so much can be hidden in a photograph. All right, I'm going to use some cranberry ink. <clears throat> I'm just trying to keep it amusing for you guys. So there's a reason to tune in and watch these. What's she going to mess up this time? Okay, so let's not mess up this. I'm just going to stamp the happy holidays. Yay, and it's reasonably straight. Woohoo! Love it. Okay, and last but not least, we're just going to make the envelope. Now, this envelope was also cut from the Artfully Scent cartridge. And if I didn't tell you, the card front with the ho 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 is from Artfully Scent. Um, and let's get out our envelope. Okay, this envelope is supposed to match a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. Now, in the book, if you are using the regular expression or the E2, you would cut it, as it says, says in the book, at four and a quarter. If you are using Design Space and the Explore Machine only, 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 you would cut this at ten and a half. <laughs> so, FYI, guys. Now, this has a liner. This is a double-sided piece of cardstock. I didn't necessarily have to do a liner. And, you know, now that I'm looking, I'm not even sure that matches. Maybe we should do it like this. And that's the outside. Kind of like the green though, right? The green's so fun. Yeah, we're gonna keep the gold on the inside and just go with how that looks. Alrighty, so. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, I'm gonna first score this before I start sticking my liner down because the liner stays flush with the bottom. All right, so I get out my score pal. I'm going to push up here so you guys can see. It's usually pretty easy to do envelopes because it's basically, you know, where the flaps go. So not too bad. So sorry about the, that sizing situation, but um, I figure it's just easy to tell you on the video, okay, if you got the Explore, it's going to be like this. And if you have the Expression and the E2, it's going to be like this. And then that way, both types of owners can, can go for it. Now, the irony was I was going to make this whole video about how to use slice on the design space, and you could see how I cut my that beard, which you can easily do on a trimmer, by the way. But And then I start using this screen capture software, and then my computer doesn't work right. And 
oh technical woes of today <laughs> so stuff you're probably not interested in but that is why you don't see that as I'm working on that problem anywho I just folded that up because I got to put that at least if I don't put it flush to the bottom of this flap I gotta you know have an idea where it's supposed to be so I'm probably gonna put it up a little bit well you don't want it too far because then you've got this problem so we're gonna have to inch down a little bit almost to the bottom it looks like would be wise also I'm sure I'm supposed to score this too before I get going let's do that because that's gonna have to be able to fold right you guys okay <clears throat> this keeps wanting to catch my sleep okay go away alrighty then so I'm gonna put my liner in here again if you use um, use some double-sided paper you know I'm not really not sure you always have to use a liner um, but I wanted to show you the liner I think last time I didn't show the liner so and you know what I'm thinking I am actually going to match up these little fold lines at the top here we go check it out okay Put these bad boys in yeah I could use this Okay, and I think I told you guys last time, always put the sticky on this, not on not on the flaps. You put it on the, the bottom piece. I have messed that up so many times, you guys, you just don't even know. <laughs> That's why I keep telling you, like, no, 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 I don't want to, it's, it's a doozy when the card gets stuck in it. All right, and there we have our card, our envelope, I mean. And so it's got a little pointy bit to it, which you can kind of see, which I keep smushing. <laughs> Oops. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide this in, and you're set. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's the card again. Ho, 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 and happy holidays. <laughs> Bye. And this is a close-up of the Close to My Heart Artfully Sent Cricut Cartridge Bundle. As you can see, it's a large set. It also comes with three stamp sets valued. The stamp sets are valued at $60. It's that font, these shapes, and a full sheet of sentiments. In addition, it comes with a pack of 12 by 12 white cardstock. You can purchase this at my Close to My Heart shop, which is located at joytracy.ctmh.com. Thanks so much.